Hello and welcome to the Flipping and Wholesaling Houses in New York show. I am Michael Pinto where I teach you how to start flipping or wholesaling houses or if you're already doing it, how to grow your business. So I got a question about transactional funding. What is it and how does it help you wholesale or flip houses? So let me explain what transactional funding is, when it applies, when it doesn't apply. Um, tr the, the benefits of transactional funding are that if you have a property that you already have a buyer for, so let's say you have a, a buyer who says he wants it at X price, and you can buy the property for less than X price, but they require a significant deposit. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Transactional funding will not fund the deposit. So if you're in contract on a property and you have to close on it before you sell it, but you'll do that same day or within a day, there are transactional funders that if you show them both, co both contracts, they will fund the purchase of the deal, but they have to know that you're gonna get out of the deal very quickly. These transactional funders usually charge around one to 2% of the loan amount. Um, and I have used them once. I needed to do it on a weird situation. Uh, it just had to happen that way. Um, but in general, usually this situation in New York can call for an assignment of contract. Now, obviously every standard uh, standard contract in New York is not assignable. Clause 26 has no assignability. You have to get that removed. And if you don't, you can have an issue. But if you can get it assignable, you will not need a transactional funder. Um, in a lot of states, people do double closings because they, how it works in a lot of states is it's very easy to get into contract. It's also very easy to get out of contract. So people are concerned that either the seller is going to see that they're making a lot of money and the seller is going to walk away from the deal or the buyer is going to see that, <coughs> sorry, you you in the middle are making a lot of money. The buyer is going to walk away from the deal. In New York, one of the best things about New York is nobody's walking away from any deals. So the, I would say the main reason that you double close in other places, which is to prevent one party from getting pissed off and not fulfilling their end of the bargain, doesn't really apply in New York. At least I haven't found it. Uh, to be applicable at all. Um, so I try to assign when I can, but other situations call for double closing if it's necessary. So then there are transactional funders. You can literally Google them. There are a million of them. Um, for them, it should be a no risk situation because you should be ready to close. Um, usually in 49 states, there's gonna be a title company that is managing both transactions. In New York, it's an attorney, but usually they get on the phone and confirm that this is gonna close. Um, but I would say, you know, very rare that you're going to need transactional funding in New York, um, but it, could, it certainly can happen. Uh, again, one to two percent, I think, was standard. Uh, I think when I did it, I paid one percent, and I think that's pretty much it about transactional funding. I know I'm going to cut this short because I'm having a nutty day. I'm on my way to an appointment. Really crazy day. Um, I, I don't even want to get into it. Where if this deal closes tomorrow, I'll be happy to talk about it. It's a lot to talk about. It's a crazy deal. Um, a roller coaster ride of a deal. Who knows if it's going to close? I've been working on it the whole day. So I hope this was helpful. If you're interested in all the ways I can help you, go to howtoflipnewyork.com. My hair looks crazy from this angle. Um, if you're interested in one -on -one, finding out about one on one coaching, go to coaching.howtoflipnewyork.com. I have a study at home program where you can learn. I teach how to do what I do. It's called, uh, you can go to www. How many W's is that? Oh, uh, what is it? It's how to flip New York course, C O U R C dot com. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. If you're watching on any media channel, please click the thumbs up. Um, I know I usually go 10 minutes because that's what people on YouTube say is best.